We are in Backup Exec 16. I'm going to show you how to add the storage. So we have a storage drive, which is just an attached USB drive. And we're going to add this as storage we can use for backing up. So let's click on the storage button at the top, as I just did, and then click on the Configure Storage option. Now here we have several different options, and we're going to choose disk-based storage because it is local. There are other options such as network, tape, and storage pools, which we'll do in different videos coming up. Go ahead and choose Next, and we're going to choose the standard disk storage option. Deduplication is also an option, and we'll talk about that in an upcoming video as well. And we'll just leave the default name of disk storage, and you can put a description if you want. We'll just put in USB. Click Next. And it's going to look for the local disk that has that storage on it. So let's take a look and make sure we choose the right disk. And we see it is our H drive. So let's go ahead and choose the H drive from the list. It also shows available storage from drives that don't have drive letters. So you can certainly choose that as well. Let's go ahead and choose the H drive and click Next. Now we can choose how many concurrent write operations. That's how many backup jobs we can do at one time. And two is a pretty good amount. You don't want to have too many on a single drive. If you have a device that, such as a SAN that has multiple drives, then you can go ahead and increase that up to more and do some tests before it starts maxing out. Go ahead and choose Next and then Finish. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And there's our storage device. If we double click on it, we can go in and we can see several different settings in here that we can go ahead and change if we want to, such as the limit backup exec to read only operations. If we want to just do read only, we can do maximum file size. The default is 50 gigabytes. And that really varies based on what you're backing up, but 50 is a pretty good default. You can also do things like the low disk space warning and critical, you'll see actual error messages pop up. And you can also say how much space before it stops altogether. So I'm going to say I don't want to do 25% free. That seems pretty high. I'm going to say stop at around 5%. Now, of course, we have to make these other changes as well in order to uh, make that work. So here I changed it to low disk space at 5% free, warning at 2, and critical at 1. You can change it to whatever you want and play around with it a little bit. You can see the path to the drive at the top right here is to the H drive, and it automatically creates a BE data folder inside it. So you can uh, go ahead and change that if you want, but by default, the BE data is a pretty good spot because if you have data in there besides this, then you'll be able to still get to it and you'll know where it is. It shows the connection type is local. It's because it's that USB connection. And backup exec service restart needed. No, everything's good to go. And it auto detected the settings as enabled. And there's our concurrent write sessions, which we can increase or decrease if we want. Let's go ahead and put it back to two and click apply. Now we'll go ahead and hit the all storage arrow and it takes us back into the disk storage area. And we can see that we already have some data being used by some other files that were saved to this drive and how much capacity that we have altogether. So that's how we set up storage in Backup Exec 16.